Before we begin, a quick cheer for Mr. Brett Crow. Without Brett Crow, we'd be in silence and darkness. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> silence and darkness. <laughs> That's all right. How's everybody doing? Wow. No, oh, not from the sound of that. That was like, I, I know what it is. There's a lack of theatricality involved. Let me fix it. Alica Theater! Now, how we doing? Yeah! <laughs> We're about like that. Good, drinking. Before we begin, happy birthday to those having birthdays. I know there are a couple in the room. Hello, new people. Let me hear a shout if you are new here for the first time. Those people have outshouted you. Try again. New people! <laughs> they kind of get it regular. Show them how it's done. Somebody found all the special buttons, excuse me. <laughs> Brett Crow, TJ, Frankie Stiletto, without them. Awkward. I would be able to get through an introduction. You're right. Yeah. That's a, you don't need to mock me now. I just started. We haven't even started the show yet. Ah. <sighs> I'm still getting my rhythm back, folks. I, you know, last couple of weeks we've been doing shows, we've been doing rehearsals. We're in between. Finally, we're, we're done with one thing. And I'm not supposed to say we're starting something else, but you know, we're starting something else. <laughs> which you will be hearing about coming real soon. But in the meantime, I've been able to do things like catch up on you know, the normal life stuff and get back to play. Our, our gym, our, our circus gym, turned into a rehearsal space for a couple of months. And now we're back playing. Last week, we got to just go out there and, and remember that we like to juggle and throw stuff and do silly things. And I had a moment out there I wanted to share. Um, all of us have been like bottling up wanting to go play for, for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And we finally all just went out there and went nuts and Alan comes running up to me with juggling clubs, let's juggle. And the acrobats were like standing on each other because they take up less space that way, I guess. <laughs> I, but they're, they're doing that and then, and then Frankie comes out there and, and swallows a sword like she did. The room went quiet, did you feel that? That was like really cool. No, yeah, it's, it's nothing. Registered sword swallower, one in 70 million awesome people. That was for you. Um, so we, she's out there and she walks up and she says, you want to juggle around me while I swallow a sword? And who in the right mind wouldn't say yes to, hey, if you hit me with these things, we get to take an exciting trip to the ER. So we, we, we did, but we didn't take the trip to the ER, which is the really good news. So we did this, and, and later on, eventually, you'll get to see this. So this thing we're working on slowly, working up to a thing. And so what happened was, just so you have a full sense of it, me, Alan, oh, I can't really demo that. that that's, that's Frankie. And then in back, the two, the two acrobats standing on each other walk up behind them and give us a pair of jazz hands, high and low. I'm not really sure how to... You get the idea. So that's what happens. And somebody from our community had decided to come out and juggle with us for the first time. And that's what they saw. Quite literally, their first moment was to see six clubs, one sword, and two pairs of jazz hands. <laughs> I knew the look. I just got here is generally the look. And I, and I walked up very honestly. I said, I said, hey, you know what? We sucked when we started. We've just been doing this a lot because we don't have lives. I was really honest, and what she said has been haunting me for a week. She said, but you guys are really good together. Oh, ensemble, which is to say I didn't hit Frankie, and the two acrobats didn't fall on Frankie. Pretty much everything boiled down to we didn't kill you was the impressive part. Yeah, that was, you're still alive, and that's, that was the impressive part. So, you hear, one guy really cares that you live, that guy. That guy. So, in the end of it, all of this comes down, and we're, we're, we're you know, I'm, I'm thinking about it, and I realize that that's what happens when you work a lot together. You know, we just did a show, and we all spent a lot of time, you had techs, performers, doesn't matter who we were, we were all crammed basically in one space, working on stuff week after week after week, and it started to sound really familiar as I look around, and I realize I spend every week with you people, and we've gotten pretty good at this. <laughs> I think they were going to get there on their own, but good call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds 
Save that sound effect. I like it. <laughs> but at, at the end of the day, uh, the thing that separates the soloist from everything we're doing is collaboration. We've gotten good at what we're doing here because we work together to do really stupid things like sound effects and jokes and one guy doing... Can you imagine if his timing was off, how odd they would look? Don't do it. Now, it'd be like that. You really, you don't want that. So I think one of the joys of this place is the fact that after a while, we kind of learn each other's rhythm, and then you feel safe enough to try something really dangerous and stupid. We call that the open stage. Welcome. <laughs>